bananas. You say peppers. So today we have a brand new mystery miniature thing to unbox. You guys have to let me know if y'all have even seen these before online, in stores. Did you know they exist before this very moment? I sure would love to know because the only place I have actually been able to find these things is at Big Lots, which I feel like is just not a store that I think about very much. I think I've only been inside a Big Lots once in my life ever before during Halloween season because when I used to go shopping in public, when it's Halloween season, I will go anywhere. There was like the It Clown in the gutter and he's like, come on down here, we've got Halloween items. I would slither down the gutter and see like what jack-o'-lanterns were going on down there. Anyway, uh, these are called micro toy box miniatures, I think. And I believe that these are by the same company. Yes, they are. They're by the same company that does wacky packages. More on that in a minute. But look at these. They are really similar to the wacky packages. And my guess is these are supposed to be a miniature competitor to Five Surprise Mini Brand Toy Eggs and World's Smallest which I feel like I just now learned that the world's smallest has mystery boxes as well. Am I the last person on planet Earth to know that? Anyway, before we get started, let's take a quick sippy sippy of my delicious cranberry juice that I'm drinking today. Does anybody else associate cranberry juice as like a fall drink? Discuss while we sippy sippy. And... Y'all have to let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this skull fabric backdrop that I have here. This is actually vintage. I keep calling 2004 vintage. My allergies are <coughs> running amok with me today, but 2004 fabric that I bought from Joann's. But how do we feel about this? Too busy, too distracting? Let me know. Also, don't forget, check out the links in the info box down below. Follow me on TikTok. Always an adventure over there. Also, uh, my Snapchat show is linked down there. I upload new episodes every Monday and Thursday. And also there are links to Swamp Family Pop Sockets, brand new merch item. And there's a link to my Depop where I have ye old classic Swamp Family stickers up for sale. Anyway, right off the bat in Fair Verona where we lay our scene, uh, this video, <laughs> we don't have a lot to go over today. I placed a curbside pickup order and they said that they had seven of these little boxes in stock. And I think when I placed my order, they had seven, but they accidentally gave me three toy box, these new ones, and four wacky packages series two. So we're just gonna hold on to these for another video. I think that whoever was stuffing the curbside order just got confused because I mean, obviously these two boxes do look very, very similar and the displays on the top, which I think is really cool. This was actually one of my favorite things about the wacky packages. We only unboxed like a couple of these last year when I first even discovered that these were a thing. These are kind of like the gross out version of mini brands. So I'm gonna unbox these little guys, you know, a week or so from now maybe. We have three of these to go over today, but I think that that's like kind of okay. Cause I just wanted to see what was the quality like? What were they like? Cause that was the only thing that I kind of think was a little bit off about the wacky packages is I felt like they were like trying to compete with mini brands, but in my opinion, they're just like not as detailed. So I'm kind of trying to see if these are the same. Are they gonna be, you know, as detailed as toy mini brands? Are they just different brands? Because I'll, I'm gonna show you guys this one first because this is honestly the one I'm most excited about. But anyway, I keep talking in circles like I always do. Um, I think that it's great that they do have at least one item in the little window on top here. Then you know that you're gonna at least get one thing that you don't have if you're trying to collect them all. And I am honestly most excited for this little Duncan yo-yo. 
This one looks really cute. So there are 50 miniatures to collect in total, and there are five in each box. And oh my gosh, yeah, this one is actually really detailed. We have a three-dimensional Duncan yo-yo. Now the string is a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of plastic. It's not actually string. So that right there I think is the difference between these and like the world's smallest because these actually like See, these are like My Little Ponies. They have real hair. So, but I mean, this is really cute. I feel like I'm doing too much comparison. Ha! <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of you guys that are like me. You really love collecting miniatures. And, you know, I mean, something that I really like when I'm collecting miniatures is how realistic do they look? You know, one of our last miniature videos was the little um, tiny TVs and how realistic those were. So I think that this is a sticker in here because that is kind of similar to the wacky packages we saw. And I would simply shriek if I got a teeny tiny itty bitty baby crocodile dentist. So that is the other cool thing that I feel like I remember with the wacky packages as well. All five things, well, Four of them are in these little packages, and then the fifth one is the one that you see on the top. So let's go ahead and tear it open and see. It's a little Connect Four game. So you know what? I actually kind of like this better than some of the mini brands like box options, just because I'm always scared that if it's like a box, it's gonna get smashed like in my collection when I'm like stacking all the items together. So even though Connect Four obviously realistically would be a boxed game in real life, it's kind of good. I don't know why I like this better than the wacky packages that were also boxes like that, but I don't know. I like the fact that it is like a box with a, or like a little piece of plastic with a label on it versus something. You guys, the plot thickens. Yeah, I thought I saw this somewhere and then I was like, wait, am I just imagining that? So these do in fact have the world's smallest logo on here. But these seem even smaller than the world's smallest. I guess that's why they're called micro because they're like smaller. How, how do you get smaller than the world's smallest? Micro world smallest. Oh my gosh. <gasps> This is so cute. I don't remember what this is called, but it's the little, I think that this is actually, oh, I think we're having focusing issues with this backdrop a little bit, but it's like the little phone. I think he's a Fisher Price item, but he's so cute. I feel like there was a reissue on these things a couple of years ago. I remember seeing them in Target and it was like a reissue of lots of retro Fisher Price toys because I never had these as a kid, but it is still somehow something that is like really recognizable to me. Okay, box number next. And by box, I mean bag. And I can't even count to five quite apparently. What is this? This is just really cute. I'm not sure if it's meant to be generic or if there is actually a brand and a character associated with this little guy that just I don't recognize, but it's a little, ah, it's a little rocking horse. Ah, I, okay, it just slid fully underneath my, my makeup thing. I have one of those like acrylic makeup boxes right here um, where I do my makeup and then I stack you guys on there for the videos. Oh my gosh, okay, what is this? Ooh! Oh my gosh, this is really, really cute. So this is a teeny tiny little Hot Wheels. And I really love this packaging because look at this, you guys. It's really easy to just actually open this and take this little car out. But then it would be so easy to just put back in as well without like actually damaging the miniature. Let's go ahead and try that now and slide it back in there. And that's so cute. Now it's like the little miniature again. 
I swear that there are world's smallest Hot Wheels already. So also they say what you're supposed to do is, you know, use these actually as little toy boxes. You can actually stack them on top of each other or something, I guess, and use them as storage cubes, which is good, but I'm like, okay. So you could, you could stack them like that. I just wish they had lids, little lids. That would be great. Okay, so here is, there's a magic eight ball option. There's Barbies. Yeah, see, I see a lot of, there's a mini Ouija board. What? And miniature My Little Ponies. That would be awesome if we could get one of those because I do have the world's smallest here. So we could do like a side-by-side -side literal comparison of the micro ones versus the regular world smallest and see, you know, what does it look like? So here is the list. There's a Rubik's Cube. Oh my God, I want this one that just says mystery. There is a Magic 8-Ball, which they say is scarce, but I would literally also like scream if I got a Magic 8-Ball. I don't know what it is about like 8-Balls. It's just always, that's just always a motif. I have loved my whole life. So yeah, the Rocking Horse is just like generic. It doesn't have a brand. And let's see, did we get any rare ones? I don't think so. Anyway, let's just keep opening them and then we'll evaluate the list at the end. So on top here, we have a Kerplunk game, which I don't know if I ever played Kerplunk. I liked the Icebreaker game. Did anybody else have that? I think it was like a little penguin on top of ice and you had these little like hammers and you would try and chip away the ice and the person who made the penguin fall was like the one to lose the game. <laughs> So little baby Kerplunk, I think this is like marbles and sticks or something. And the point is to like, not have the marbles fall out of the sticks. I have to clean everything today, you guys. We're actually filming this video in here right now because I filmed the Swamp Family mail unboxing video in the official filming room yesterday. Uh, but I was so tired. I didn't get done um, filming last night until <clears throat> like 1.30 or so in the morning and I didn't even eat dinner. So like by the time I was done, I was just like so tired and hungry. Um, we got a rocking horse duplicate already. I was hoping for no duplicates today because we don't have many. So anyway, I just, I didn't even like clean up all of the boxes and stuff. Um, I just left everything as it was last night and now I need to organize everything. So um, here is another Hot Wheels. It's another car completely different. That one was green. This one is red. And this one looks like it's, oh, it's like a, a fire truck, I think. Right? Isn't that a fire truck? What is that? What are you hauling back there? Um, so anyway, yeah, now I have to like collapse all the boxes, put all my wonderful Swamp Family Mail letters in binders and all of the other amazing fun process uh, that I do once I unbox Swamp Family Mail. So I've been thinking about doing, um, a lot of y'all were asking if I'm gonna do another thing like Project Blue Book. So let me know if y'all would want to do another thing like that. I get questions about that all the time and I think it would be fun to do. Oh, it's He-Man! Oh my gosh. So yeah, that's the only bad thing about these is like the plastic little things, there's like quite a bit of overhang. Like if you were gonna leave it in the package, you might want to just tape that down with like some clear tape so that it's like a little bit flatter. Oh my gosh. Y'all, these are incredibly detailed. So look at this. Here's our little He-Man. Ta-da. And then I thought that this was like literally just a bit of plastic in there with him, but it is actually a teeny tiny little shield and a teeny tiny little He-Man sword. Look at that. Okay, give me just a second. I'm gonna repackage He-Man and all of his accoutrements. <laughs> all right, you guys, I was like looking on the chart again because some of the dots are blue, some of them are yellow, and then I guess the silver and gold ones look like they're rare. Or maybe there's not gold, maybe that's just yellow, y'all. 
No, that's gold, right? Scarce is gold. But anyway, I don't know. I guess both yellow and blue are common. Cause I was like really shocked. I feel like the He-Man with like all the different little pieces would be a more rare one, but maybe not. Oh, this is a game that I have actually never heard of. I feel like I've seen it, you know, on a shelf in Walmart or Target or something, Block Us. What is that? Is this like a kind of Simon Says kind of thing? I cannot believe that was already the complete other box, y'all. So, so far only one repeat though. We only got the rocking horse so far. And on this one, you guys, right on top is a toy that I, oddly enough, always wanted and I've never had one, a light bright. Did anybody else, was there just like a toy that you wanted when you were a kid and you just like, you never got it and you kinda, you kinda still wanna see, you know? What is a light bright all about? Or, or, or about? Light bright, light bright, da 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 da. I used to remember the jingle, now I can't. But we got a light bright, you guys, with a beautiful butterfly on the light bright. I actually don't even remember. Oh no, there, there it is right there. I was like, I don't remember seeing light bright on the chart. It's like literally front and center. I love this one too. Corn popper. I had that when I was a kid. That's our little sticker. All right, you guys up right here. Um, I want a magic eight ball. What else? Oh, I also want a Ouija board. Um, gosh, dang it. He's cute, but We've already seen you, sir. But go go over here with your little friend. Ooh, this feels like something different. Is it a Ouija board? It's a bucket. It's a bucket. Oh, there's a shovel too. I almost threw, I almost threw the shovel on the floor. Okay, this is kind of cute. Oh, I feel like these would be perfect for like, I don't know, Barbie dolls or something. They're like just, hello, it's my little bucket. So here's a little plastic bucket a little yellow shovel, adorable. There we go. Oh, you almost can't see. It's like the, it's like the shovel becomes invisible inside the bucket. Okay. Somebody new, somebody new. Can I have, Ooh, it is somebody new. <gasps> I wish I had these. I know that there is a world smallest for this. So I wish I had this one to size compare, but it is the blue Rock'em Sock'em Rock'em Sock'em Robot. <laughs> Rock'em, isn't it Rock'em Sock'em Robots? I feel like I had a bunch of oddly like different merchandise that went with these. I had a pin that had a Rock'em Sock'em Robot on the top. And I think oddly enough, I also had a ring. Like they were like little rings that you rocked them, socked them with. Is this the last dang one already? Oh, you guys, these went by a lot faster than I thought that they would. Oh no, we have, what is on this? Oh my God, what is on this? Okay, we have a mysterious, I almost said Dunkin' Donuts. We have a mysterious Dunkin' wheel with like literally what looks to be a spitball adhered to the back of it. Love that. Um, so yeah, I can't believe that's it, you guys. I'm definitely gonna be on the quest for more of these. These, I feel like I say this at the conclusion of everything that I unbox, but what can I say? I'm easy to please and I love little miniature things. And anytime there's like a new set of miniatures to collect, I feel like I am gonna be there front and center, very excited for it. I really love certain aspects about these that I feel like are totally different than any other miniatures. You know, for instance, with the ability to like open the package, take them out. I feel like that prevents people from like wanting to rip them open or tear them open. I like the fact that you can like take the little figures out and display them like that, or then just like put them back here. So you kind of don't feel like you have to like ruin your collection if you actually want to take the little item out. I honestly have no complaints about these. I really don't. I'm not sure if there's as many like licensed items in here, if that makes sense. Cause like, obviously I feel like the rocking horse doesn't really have a brand. The little pail and stuff doesn't really have a brand. Oh, here's the sticker. So this was the sticker I threw on the floor. It's a Hot Wheels rally case. Oh, that's so cute. 
like a little collector's case for your Hot Wheels. I mean, I, I like, I, I don't know. Could I go on forever about this? Yes, I could. Should I? No, I shouldn't. I like the stickers. I like the miniatures. I'm gonna be looking out for more of these. I hope that I can get more from Big Lots or whatever. I mean, I have seen them on other websites, but once again, it's like people that are buying them and reselling them. And the same thing I said in the tiny TV video, I do feel like these items are worth like the retail price, whatever they are, $7, $8 per little bucket. They're very fun to open and you get a lot of things inside. But do I feel like they're worth like what people are trying to resell them for on the reseller market, like $15, $20? No, I don't. I feel like you would be like kind of disappointed if you spent $20 on five little teeny tiny miniatures. I mean, I feel like you could buy five teeny tiny like world smallest if you wanted to. And that would probably also equate to like $20. So that would probably just be like smarter to do that. So yeah, anyway, I love these. I'm gonna look for more. I would love to know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below below. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye!